Get out of the city and into an adventure that moves the whole family. Prepare to be moved. The all new Nissan X Trail. A listener production. AC Care chats on the budget, a new plan for one local council, and some interesting results in local footy from the weekend. Good morning, it's Amy Ross with the Limestone Coast Local News Update. Some wet weather across the region today. We're heading for a top of 11 in Mount Gambia and 12 in Robe. One of the Limestone Coast Peak social service bodies hopes a suite of cost of living and housing reforms in the state budget will provide some relief for people doing it tough. Acting CEO Kirsty Barnett says it comes at a good time. It's always nice to see, especially in our climate of housing crisis, some effort being put into supporting people to get into their own homes with wage stamp duty, hoping that that in turn will um, free up rental properties. A new strategic plan's laid out six big goals for Narracourt Lucendale. Council's come up with the document all about managing growth, boosting tourism and preserving the environment. One big project is making over the Narracourt Creek. The concept of putting some weirs within the creek so we're actually pulling water and beautifying uh, that natural landscape is one of the tick boxes uh, in the short term. No Limestone Coast business going above and beyond. You can nominate them now for a business award. The annual awards are being hosted by the Mount Gambia Chamber of Commerce and the Women in Business and Regional Development Group. Chamber President Candice Fennell says there are plenty of categories up for grabs from business growth and resilience uh, for large, small and micro businesses. We've got um, category in champion of business and the business community, community conscience, uh, courageous business leader. Briefly, Barker MP Tony Pazin has stated his opposition to the Indigenous Voice to Parliament. In a statement, Mr Pazin says the voice will divide our nation by race. Jetties across the southeast will soon be getting a facelift following a handout in the state budget. 20 million bucks is being poured into upgrade and maintenance works. The state government will be working with local councils to make sure all jetties across the state are in working order. And many towns from our patch have been nominated in the state's Ag Town of the Year awards. Panola, Narracourt, Lucendale, Kalangadu and Kingston are all in the running. Locals are encouraged to vote for their township at agtown.com.au. A top 10 will be announced in early July. After this, there is no turning back. You sip the red can, the story ends. You sip the black can, you enter dreamland. And I show you just how good the truth can taste. Max Taste Challenge. Millicent remain undefeated in the Western Border Footy League. The side down North Gambia 51 to 21 at the weekend. Elsewhere, second place West had a 10 point win over East. The score 63 to 53. And Casterton Sanford beat South 37 to 13. In the Mid South Eastern Footy League, it was a big win for ladder leaders Robe. Besides Smash Nangwari, 145 to 32, it was an upset for second place Port McDonnell. The side falling to Hatherley, 61 to 19. Elsewhere, Kalangadu beat Glencoe, 82 to 46, and Tantanula got the win over Congarong, 64 to 33. For the latest local news throughout the day, download the Listener app.